the Australian sporting landscape, you know, you've seen it as a player, a coach, and now from the outside as a, a consultant, basically. Um, how do you think the industry has evolved in terms of the attitude towards data and technology in the last, let's say, even 10 years or so? You know, I, I have a very different view, which is just because it's complicated, just because it's sexy doesn't mean it actually works or makes a difference. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of things in the industry that, that realistically make no difference whatsoever. I mean, if, 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 you, if you sat at a conference and you listened to everyone talk and they'll say, this makes, this, this, you know, these cryo chambers or whatever it might be, these beetroot shots, that'll make 7%, you know, performance difference. If you added all those percentages up and you used every single one of those things, you'd be, your performance is off the charts, you know, it'd be in the thousands of, of, of percentages. So yeah. one of the things for us is trying to understand what, you know, actually really makes a difference. Mm. Uh, I think one of the biggest things is keeping your players healthy, keeping longevity. I mean, we see that almost across every comp now we look at is that players are now, their careers are lasting longer, they're more right. consistent. I think recovery is, is a really important area. Um, I think that um, most data analytics at the other end of the scale is like, for example, you know, inside 50s in the AFL, it doesn't really tell you why team winning. It's more just another descriptor of the fact that they are winning and that they are getting down that end. So right. um, uh, line breaks, um, for example, in rugby league, you know, the team that gets the most line breaks gets the most tries. That's great. But it's like saying, you know, the team, the, the cars that run the most red lights are probably going to have the most car accidents. It's, you've got to go back to something else. Like why are they running the red lights? You know, why are they making line breaks? And that's for us. Um, where we're really at, which is more at the top end of, you know, most decisions, most actions on the field are caused by the governance above them. So we right. want to understand those ramifications. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to check out more of our content, go to sporttechdaily.com or follow us on social media across Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook or Instagram.